How you going? I'm Ben. Welcome to Ben's Lab. This is my co-host Rufus. How you going, little Ben? Right. Uh, as you can tell, life is all around us, right here. It does very well here on planet Earth because a very particular set of conditions exist. Now, in the last episode, I discussed terraforming, whereby a barren alien planet is turned into somewhere capable of harboring life like us. Now, for most life, like me and Rufus here, things need to be pretty cosy. But right here on Earth, there are creatures that are surviving conditions so extreme they will kill us within minutes. They're known as extremophiles, and we're going to talk about a few of them today here in Ben's lab. Isn't that right? Yeah. Extremophiles. Life for us humans has become a pretty cosy affair. We do like to push it sometimes, getting all aggressive and gung ho, and sometimes a bit extreme. We can even be rough and tough when we want to be. So, you like to think you're pretty hardcore, hey? Let's see how you go up against some of these little monsters. Truth be told, though, the toughest things on Earth are microorganisms, like this bacteria found in deep ice in Greenland. This hot spring gets its colour from sulfur producing bacteria. The temperature is 80 degrees Celsius. This duck thinks he's pretty hardcore. He always takes a ride on a plane, on the outside. But the real tough guys are on the ocean floor. Down there, it's close to freezing. There's no light. Pressures are extreme, as in really extreme. For us on land, the weight of a column of air stretching from sea level to the edge of space is 14.7 pounds per square inch. On the ocean floor, it's more like 15,750 psi. In metric dollars, that's 7,000 kilograms or 7 tons of water. Around DC hydrothermal vents, it gets crazy hot. These are fissures from which superheated water is expelled, typically around volcanic activity. Now, this water gets up to 464 degrees Celsius or 864 degrees Fahrenheit. This black smoke contains minerals that sustain bacteria adapted to these extreme temperatures. They support diverse and bizarre ecosystems. Such vents are speculated to exist on Jupiter's moon Europa, Enceladus orbiting Saturn, and may even once have existed on Mars long ago. Now, hydrothermal vent creatures are awesomely interesting, and you'll be doing yourself a favour to check out some more videos and things which I've posted links to uh, down below uh, in the comments there, or maybe there, uh, I don't know. Honourable mention goes to tardigrades, water bears. Possibly the toughest creatures on Earth. Don't believe me? Well. These suckers can withstand temperatures from minus 272 degrees Celsius to 150 degrees. Pressures up to six times the pressure on the deepest parts of the ocean. That's for radiation. Well, just wait for it. That's right. 570,000 ronchen. What's the fatal dose for a human? Uh, um, uh... Five five hundred. <coughs> That's right. It takes five hundred ronchen to send a human being to the next world. Five hundred. Five hundred ronchen. Okay, so there's that word I keep flashing up. Ronchen. What is a ronchen? A ronchen is an old measure used for dangerous radiation. In the same way, you would measure a liquid, like water. Human beings can handle a little bit of radiation. Water bears or tardigrades can handle a lot. Whoa! See, so you're pretty tough. But they can also go without food and water for up to 30 years. Just be here last about five seconds, don't you, mate? Good boy. <laughs> 